legal issues and it's preliminary and Mr. Chichester has not had a chance to research this. We've just done some pre preliminary uh, research on this matter. So there's a long way to go on that. Really the biggest issue is what can be and what cannot be franchised in terms of a, uh, a solid waste facility. There's some issues there. So we have to address those and, and find out. A lot of that's going to revolve around whether we can require a truck that's not in the, not a city truck but a non-city a private hauler to if they pick up trash from a road Oak rapids uh, business require them to go to that transfer station and that's an issue that we've got to research and determine if we can do that there's a little bit of conflicting case law the north carolina statutes very um very generous in that respect some of the federal case law is not quite so generous there are some exceptions that seem to fit this instance exactly that is if a local government owns and operates its own facility there's cases that say you can in fact require any garbage picked up in your city to to be deposited there but again i, I don't want to go and say that's the final conclusion because our city attorney has not researched that and that's preliminary and there is some conflict there so it's something we've got to really kind of take a look at and that certainly will have an impact on how we do our our, our financial analysis on that but I think um, you know we can adjust figures accordingly depending on what the result of that research is. <laughs> the financing option. We've used the 10-year uh, facility um, or amortization schedule for the facility and that gives us the annual debt of approximately $86,303 and that's a like I said 10 years at approximately 4 percent which we think is a, a fair market uh, interest rate and a, a, a standard term. I need to point out though, we use that, I think it's a fairly conservative um, amortization. Most facilities of this size and that expense would be amortized at closer to 20 or 25 years. And certainly you can do the rough math on that. When you double that amortization schedule, obviously the uh, annual repayment goes down to, instead of 86,000, if you go to 20 years, it's gonna be closer to 46 or $48,000. Again, factoring in your interest rate and other, other factors. And that certainly goes right to your bottom line in terms of uh, you know, your profit margin there. I suspect by time, um, if we pursue this option, at the end of the day, Mayor, we'll probably want to amortize this over a longer period than 10 years. We use 10 years, again, trying to be conservative, and so you have a really good grasp. Obviously, we don't want to extend debt any longer than we have to, but whether it's a fire truck or a, um, uh, uh, you know, an actual facility, the amortization with these higher uh, cost items is typically much longer than 10 years. So I, I want to alert you to that and say that does give us some flexibility there. Another factor um, in terms of the, the landfill station um, location, and it's pointed out in the memo, but just something to keep in mind, because it's a pretty big, pretty big number, and we don't have a particular landfill picked out. There's several that are available. If we use a Virginia landfill, and of course we're very close to that, and some of the Virginia landfills are closer than the North Carolina ones, there's actually an approximate $56,000 savings per year, and that's based on a two dollar per ton uh, fee that the state of north carolina charges to all landfills that is not charged in virginia so something again one of those factors that as we get closer we've got to look at pretty hard and that has a tremendous impact on our bottom line as you can imagine and finally with the financing option mayor this debt if the if the city council chooses to pursue it it will have to go and get approved by the lgc um, right now it's preliminary i think melinda's had some very um introductory conversations with them. The format usually is to have a, a, a somewhat of an informal meeting with the LGC, see if they have any concerns, look at what kind of information they would like to have to really review our business plan for this kind of operation. And that process can take four to six months. And that would also include if the city council decides to go forward, we resolved any issues with the LGC. That would include the formal application before the LGC, get before their board for approval of that debt. But it would be a debt that would be that would require LGC approval, and we would certainly go that route. Right now, the most viable option for financing just seems to be traditional bank or institutional uh, financial uh, standard uh, installment payment uh, kind of financing. In closing, Mayor, um, and again, I'll give um, Richard a chance to chime in and certainly any questions that you may have. Looks like it's a viable option to, to, option to consider uh, researching. Certainly, I'm not prepared. I don't think Richard is either to make a recommendation at, the, at this stage. We certainly uh, encourage the City Council's feedback, uh, whether it's tonight or you know, the, in the coming months. Certainly, any question you have, let us chase down and try to find an answer for you. If we can't uh, immediately, we'll try and do that. So we all have uh, as many facts and as much information before us before we try to make a decision on this, on this issue. And I'd like to ask Richard if he's got anything to add. Um, in that uh, may have overlooked. Your floor, Richard. No, sir, I, I do not unless there's okay. any questions by the council. 
Well, it would be one other state agency involved other than local government commission, wouldn't it? Wouldn't the state have to give us approval other than the local government commission as far as uh, whether we can do the landfill or not? You're talking about like um, I mean, the transfer station. But you're talking about that permit, dean? Permit. Yeah, the permitting process. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Does the council have any questions concerning this? It appears it's going to be a right lengthy process still, so, you know, uh, is any council have any questions at this time? Not at this time, Mayor. Okay. Okay, thank you, Paul.